Party hats. Boom, boom. The whole go bang, bang here. Let us begin. I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogity Man. Hey everybody and happy holidays. Welcome to the VHS Bandits Podcast. Today we're watching the Nickelodeon classic Eureka's Castle, the Christmas special. Let's pop in the home recorded tape. Come on Eureka, you can do it. Oh, I've just got to use my magic and make a tree for our Christmas play. Oh, how did that spell go? Cooey! Come on, Cooey. we got to get upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Rika's going to make us a beautiful Christmas tree. Then we can put on the play. Let's go. Oh, oh, would you stop wrestling right now? We've got to get up to the courtyard and rehearse the Christmas play. Right, Bob. I'll lead the way. Oh, oh, oh no, me first. No, me first. Me first. Oh, Batley, Batley, don't ever change. You're perfect just the way you are. Uh-oh. Mistletoe. Yeah. Sorry to leave you, but this bat must fly. I have a Christmas play to direct. Be right down. Hurry up, Batley. We're all here. No, 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 Wait, quick fire! Oh, hi, Come on! Come on! I meant to do that. Okay, places. Everyone on stage. No, would you two quit fooling around, huh? It's almost Christmas, and we have a play to rehearse. Oh, right. right. Okay, now, is the orchestra ready? Ready! And get it right this time, will you? This has to be the best Christmas play ever. Oh, it will be, Batley. Don't worry. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 listen up. Now, ah, the big dance number. Ready? Yeah, we are. All right. And a one and a two. Oh, cut, cut, cut. What? No. You call that dancing? That was terrible. Well, I guess I'll have to show you how it's done. Now, do everything I do, and it'll be great. All right. Okay. Now, watch this, okay? We're watching. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Yuppa, yuppa. Whoa! And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the VHS Banners Podcast. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Uh, this is Dane Train, and with me, as always, is my co host, Topher Hansen. Hey, dude, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and to everybody in uh, podcast land. So, uh, today we had something that you couldn't buy at the stores. It's a home recorded tape that I have had since, uh, 1991. And, uh, it's a home recording from Nickelodeon, uh, that my parents probably recorded for me back then. Of... Specifically the Nickelozone. Yes. Yeah. On the Ozone. Um, even though it was a Nick Jr. show. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. It must have changed. It the made its the way thing. into the Nickelodeon. <laughs> Remember when the Ozone was like a big deal? Like yeah. It, everyone cared about the Ozone and like don't use hairspray and shit like that. <laughs> the, the, that ozone. I don't know. Now nobody cares about the Ozone. Oh, I guess yeah, it's yeah, fixed yeah, because. Uh, yeah, because everybody had like spray cans for hairspray, and they're like you put yeah. a hole in the atmosphere. Now it's all about greenhouse gases, but this isn't an environmentalist show. This is well, what would they about the orange ozone? If you were to flip on Nickelodeon today, they didn't have the ozone. What would they call it? The greenhouse zone. They'd call it the global, uh, the global climate change zone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't flipped on Nickelodeon in a long time. I don't think there's too much they have to offer me at this point in my life. Not even the new episodes of Double Dare? That 
could be interesting. You're yeah. right. You have a. I haven't been keeping up with uh, with Double Dare, so you you might be on to something. Yeah, I haven't seen it either, but I I understand Mark Summers is on it. So, but yes, uh, I I mean I'm sure you were too. I was a big uh, avid watcher as a little kid of Eureka's Castle. I love Eureka's Castle. Magellan was my man. Magellan and Batley. Yo, and yeah. watching this, Batley is an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> it's funny, like, watching this show now as an adult. And, uh, yeah. It, I like, like it even more, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I totally agree. The show definitely. Or at least just as much. Yeah. it it, it B- Batley holds up pretty good. <laughs> Batley is great. I think Batley is probably a big influence on us subconsciously watching this because if any of you guys have seen the bestest Christmas ever or any of our like old movies that we've posted. Yeah. Most of the characters that me and big Dane like portray are like low key assholes. (laughs) (laughs) They're like lovable, like sloppy jerks. (laughs) The the best way. And badly is just that. Yeah, like for those for those uh, out there who have seen Glow, I, I for those of you guys who have seen the show Glow, uh Mark Marin's character to me is Batley, like to a T. I think Mark Marin uh subconsciously must have been he must have been watching uh way back in the day, he must have been watching some Eureka's Castle and he's like channeling his inner Batley when he does that show. Cuz it's literally <laughs> him. He's just like this sloppy sleep you know grease ball you know i'm i vow to channel batley in all of my future acting performances (laughs) and i like to like i never noticed it until now it's like when batley talks he's like he talks like uncle jesse where he's like hey not the hair huh yeah he's 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 like hey well uh magellan get the fuck out of (laughs) here Oh man, it's just I mean, like he always thinks he's it's like he fucks up something, but he always thinks he's like okay. It's like when he 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 flies and he crash lands in the shit and he goes, "I meant to do that." Or he's like, "Yeah, yeah I, I meant yeah. to find you, Magellan, sure, yeah." You know? Yeah, his like his like uh his ego is his uh defining characteristic and his like biggest enemy at all at once. Yeah. So, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, Eureka's Castle was a kids TV show that ran in the early 90s on Nickelodeon. It was fucking awesome. This is the only yeah. episode that I have on tape. Yeah, um, I have this on tape too, but I mean, it's it's hidden away somewhere that I can't find it. So yeah. I had to watch your copy, which is totally fine. But this this is great. It holds up. It's only a half hour long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Eureka's Castle... Uh, there's probably a shitload of things on YouTube about it, yeah, but it's back. basically Eureka, who is this uh, witch wizard she's lady. A wizard she's she a wizard. She has croissants on her head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like and, and sparkly, all of her spells. sparkly croissants. Yeah. So like. Right. Yeah. She does always fuck up her yeah, spells. huh? She's got that magic wand. And it's like, remember when when you would be on like um, MS Paint or Kid Picks and you had like the little spray, the spray can. You know, <laughs> right, like, that trails yeah, her, yeah, her like wand. That's, that's yeah. what her wand does. It's it's like the kid pick spray paint trail, and she fucks <laughs> up all of her spells all the time. So she's in this in the Christmas special. She's trying to conjure up a, a perfect Christmas tree, and she can't. So she keeps making cups of tea. It's like when yeah, you watch, Christmas uh, tea. It's like when when you watched Hey Vern, it's Ernest, a TV show, and every time he would go into the barber's chair and say, "Oh, I wanted to look like a Wall Street tycoon," and they give him something <laughs> that like sounds stupid. He like looks a, like a, a a chocolate raccoon. Yeah, a, a windswept sand dune. You know. It's yeah, like, that's exactly <laughs> that's that's her spells. You know. Right. Um. And uh, so the uh, Batley. Who, I mean, if you haven't figured it out by his name, he's a bat. <laughs> he wears a track uh, suit. <laughs> yeah, let's go through the characters, yeah, I guess, yeah. for anyone who hasn't seen this. Yeah. And this will be confirmed. This will be on the VHS Bandits uh, Christmas mixtape that right. Dane Train will put online, correct? That's right. Yeah, so, I've, so you... uh, I've pulled together all of my 
recorded off TV tapes that I've had um, all my life. And uh, I, I got to tell you, though, uh, out of all my tapes, I could only find stuff from the 90s. So it's going to be a Y2K Christmas party when you watch the uh, uh, the wouldn't that uh, be the 2000s? <laughs> Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, not Y2K. It's gonna be. Uh, oh, <laughs> It'll think, be an I, MMX one. I I I don't know. I think I don't the know last Roman year numerals. that stuff is on there. Maybe from 2000. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna say at least 99.9 percent of everything on there is from at least from 1990 to 1999, and uh, so. It's eight hours of stuff hosted by Super Dracula, and uh, it'll be available only online, just like the Halloween mixtapes were this year. So no actual physical releases, at least not right now. Uh, so if you go to uh, starting on October eighth, twenty eighteen, uh, through the uh, through the very end of December, uh, go to our our bio. Uh, on our Instagram, you'll find the link right there. It's, it's going to be like a Google Drive link, and uh, you can watch uh, the eight hours there. There's going to be, yeah, Eureka's Castle, episodes of The Simpsons, that 70s show, Mad TV, uh, Home Improvement, Family Matters. Uh, there's a shit ton of stuff and a, and a shit ton of old ass commercials, both and Christmassy and not Christmassy because I don't I don't edit any of that <laughs> shit. That's just the way that it is recorded off TV. So there's like commercials on there for like Jello Jigglers and Home Alone Two. <laughs> out in theaters Jello Jigglers shit. on Route Twenty off Route Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You know. Um, and we'll we'll put up a uh, a link to uh, our Christmas special, the bestest Christmas ever, oh, as well. Yeah. So you can. You can watch our full-length variety show Christmas special. Yeah. But back to Eureka's Castle. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the whole show is, like, in some kind of weird fairy tale land, there's, like, this, this is, there's a castle with a big-ass um, winding, like a, it looks like a wing nut on the back. Yeah, it's like a it's like a music box. Mu- yeah, I think right. they all live inside this castle slash music box, and this giant hand winds it up. Right. Yeah. Like the well, beginning so there's, of every there's show like or this, something. It's like a big, up. like Nordic dude with a big ass. Beard. Right. This Viking guy. Yeah. yeah. And he comes up and he's like, "Oh my, my castle! I gotta wind it up." So he winds up the castle, and that, like, I think brings everybody to life. I guess, or I don't know. They all live in this castle. I don't really know what the. With the turning. Maybe that just keeps the electricity on. Yeah, maybe it might be like a like a wash that has to be wound every now and then. Yeah, know. like if the uh, the. The microwave cuts out halfway between uh, <laughs> Batley's and Boggs' uh, hot pocket. Yeah. You gotta go, hey, uh, big Nordic guy, why don't you wind up the castle? My hot pocket's gonna be cold in the middle here. <laughs> that's, that's literally him. <laughs> Fucking hot pockets. Uh, um, yeah, like, uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, you got um, Eureka the wizard, you got Batley the bat, the sleazeball bat. Then you got Magellan, who's this uh, big teddy bear of a dragon. Yeah, He's... and he has a pet named Cooey, yep. who is a little She's yellow a uh, dust bunny thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Batley has a pet, too. Bat, What's Batley's pet oh, name? He's a spider. Uh, Webster. Webster, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Webster's awesome. Yeah, he's great. And both pets are just like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. and Cooey goes, Cooey, Cooey, Coo, Coo, Coo. <laughs> Cooey's kind of like a Pokemon. She only says her name. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you got these uh, two like ogrey like sewer sewer monsters that are all covered in pimples and shit. Yeah, they live in the moat. Yeah, they're Bog, Bog and, and Quagmire. Quagmire. Yeah, boy and yeah. girl. They fucking love peanut butter sandwiches to no end. <laughs> I don't know. They, they they're obsessed with peanut butter sandwiches who isn't i know uh and then um, sandwiches. you got uh i think his name is mac i think he's like the the castle's janitor or something <laughs> like that he's a foreign he, guy he's like eastern european yeah. or something um, he is an illegal immigrant <laughs> refugee being <laughs> being a harbinger away in the in the castle doing odd jobs and chores for for everyone so he doesn't get deported by eureka she's holding that over his head i'm sure <laughs> only she can conjure up his green card 
Yeah, she can conjure up ice to take him away if he doesn't <laughs> fix the plumbing. Uh, he can't go. He can't go beyond the castle wall because they, they <laughs> built the wall. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, who else? You got these. You got these. And mice. there's these two fat mice. I yeah, forget yeah. their names, but um, they're yeah. One's name like Marge or Maggie or something like that. And she's like, "Hey, hey guys, I'm gonna eat everything." <laughs> A little bobcat gold lady. <laughs> yeah and it, another like thing of the 90s the um it's the fat mouse of the 90s there's <laughs> there's always a, a a fat character you the know cheese ball. Like everything yeah there's always a cheese ball so this is this is the Arita's Castle's cheese ball is these fat mice that yeah. keep eating cookies all the time. Or uh, kind of like donkey lips on Salute Your Shorts. Right, yeah. yeah. Everything had to have a fat so character. Yeah. And uh, Eureka's Castle is uh, no different. Yeah. And I miss that about TV shows. We need to bring back the fat guy in TV shows. Come on. Yeah, where did all the cheese... Hey, where's the cheese balls? Where's, Where's the cheese, the cheese balls? balls? Hashtag bring back cheese ball. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> anyway. So um, uh, so here we are. It's the Christmas special, and the uh, the the castle is decked out with holiday shit, except no Christmas tree, while uh, Eureka keeps trying to conjure one up. She can't. She keeps making tons and tons of cups of tea. And yep. throwing a they're throwing a holiday play, a pageant. Yeah, Christmas play. Yeah, uh, musical numbers. And Batley is directing it. <laughs> and uh, Magellan is, I guess, the, I, I don't know. I think everybody in the castle is in the play. So, therefore, there is no audience to watch that's, the play. Right. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yep. it's weird. Except for maybe the immigrant guy. Maybe he's, oh, he no, can't no. be he was too... Oh, uh, he was supposed to be Oh, he was Santa. Santa. He was supposed to play Santa. Say, ho, ho, ho. He's like, hee, 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 har, har, har. He yeah, and it. then Batley's like, har, har, har. Oh, what the fuck am I going to do with this guy? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and and uh, Batley is a... Uh, He's a relentless uh, uh, director, uh, only rivaled by Kubrick, perhaps. Oh, yeah. And uh, so Magellan is, uh, uh, since Eureka couldn't find or couldn't conjure up uh, a tree with her dark magic, uh, Magellan's like, I'm going to dress up my tail as a tree. And it should be known that I think Magellan's tail is kind of a character on his own. I remember him always like talking to his tail or his tail doesn't oh, do yeah, what it he wants move. it to do. It has a it mind of its own. And it would go meep, 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 every time he would move. Yeah. It. yeah. Like he could talk to it. It was like another another person. Yeah. Maybe he's schizophrenic. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and so he, he puts all these decorations on his tail and his tail falls over <laughs> and like crushes the uh the stage or whatever i don't know it just it doesn't work out or he sneezes because magellan sneezes a lot too oh yeah right uh, uh, choo! uh and then so batley's like you ruined the play magellan <laughs> you're you're out of here you're fired you'll never work in this castle again <laughs> oh yeah he was being a real asshole yeah he was ruthless yeah and I mean, nothing really bad happened because his tail, his makeshift Christmas tree tail, nothing was damaged on it. I mean, all the ornaments and stuff were still on it. Uh, all yeah, it really wasn't that bad. It was probably more of just embarrassing yeah. for Batley. Because so then mean, Batley uh, just had it. Batley was under a lot of stress. Oh, I mean, that's I very mean, true. His, I get it. Yeah. His Santa out. can't say ho, ho, ho. There's no Christmas tree. So he, he just has... Uh, you know, uh, a Batman freak out like Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. What says, are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I, I'm, I'm in the middle of a scene here. Turn off that light, you fucking gaffer piece of shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know what I mean? We're, Good we, for we you. We've done professionally. Good for you. 
Jeez. <laughs> Magellan. I'm going to go. I'm going to go smack my mother. <laughs> <laughs> he would, too. Oh, badly? Yeah. Yeah. I have no doubt. Uh, uh, oh, and so, then he, so he fires Magellan on the spot. So he's also trying to... Uh, Batley, even though he's directing the show, he thinks that he's the best star of them all. Like he could do it all. So he tries to show them how to dance using his little like. Muppet oh feet. yeah, you're right. And and then he like he and Webster like do a little dance, a little uh, song number with a piano, where his little like puppet hands just kind of like go on top of the piano and they don't really hit the keys. <laughs> yeah, and there's like this elaborate like a. Uh piano solo and his his puppet hands are just like not moving just like <laughs> gliding across the tops as if he's like dusting the keys or something <laughs> with his felt fingertips and uh, it's and great webster's on top of the piano and you can clearly see like like the guy's the arm guy's hanging arm. out of the back <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. so great uh batley batley's legs are my favorite part oh, of this best. whole show and there's so much of it in this episode it's crazy there, there's a lot of bat leg in this oh my he's god he's showing some leg so if you guys don't know the term muppet walk <laughs> which <laughs> <laughs> which you don't i mean you maybe do but dane train and i have long had the the term muppet walk which is whenever a muppet on television walks it's always just a close-up of just their legs uh and it's i don't know how to explain it without <laughs> without like, a visual reference it, it, anytime but anytime that like that like you watch um like any of the old muppet movies like muppets take manhattan great muppet cape or whatever anytime that they do a shot where it's like it's like pov of like Fozzie bear or kermit and it's as if they were looking <laughs> down at their shoes and their feet are just like walking forward that's yeah, the muppet walk Right, it's the marionette version of not their arms but their legs, yeah, like an it, actual marionette would look. It's it's this very uh, like uncanny valley, like weird yeah. surreality to it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's it's uh, like if you just put your arms straight out and <laughs> and try to walk up a wall with your arms, that's what it looks like. And there, there's a lot of that in this. And Batley's <laughs> legs are the best because there's not just the Muppet walk. You can try this at home. Look down and just very, just lift your knees straight up and try and move forward. <laughs> That's exactly what without, it looks like. Without extending your like lower leg, like your calf muscles. Don't use your calves, just your knees. Uh... <laughs> It, but Batley's got not just that he crosses his legs in this and it looks so silly because uh. his like pants aren't there's like nothing in his pants like it's just literally the wires on yeah. strings with pants over it <laughs> and then Batley like flies and crashes through the backdrop and his little bat butt <laughs> is hanging out and his legs are wiggling <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Muppet legs are the that'll make you if you're having a bad day, just watch a montage of Muppet legs. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. Oh man. Yeah, so uh uh yeah, so so he kicks Magellan out. Magellan decides that he's gonna try to um he's gonna try he's gonna try to go find a Christmas tree since Eureka can't make one. He's going to go find one out in the woods. But he doesn't know that you have to decorate a Christmas tree. They don't come pre-decorated. He yeah, doesn't know he that. Thinks he thinks they, they are, are already pre-decorated. He thinks they are pre-decorated. Yeah. So he goes out in the woods with his uh, pet, Cooey. And Cooey. They, they're out in the middle of the woods, far, far away from the castle. And they get fucking lost. They don't know where the hell to go. <laughs> and it's getting dark out. And they're getting scared. So back at the castle, um, Eureka comes up and she's like, well, what the fuck happened? And um, this fat little mouse comes up. He's like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> he's, he's out there. Um, num, num, num. Oh, he's out there. Yeah, Look at my Christmas tree. Uh, see you later. 
and, but this isn't before. So Bog and Qua- Quagmire oh, yeah, do yeah. their song. Batley's directing them, and yeah, he yeah. still doesn't like it. He's like, that's the... He's like, do do ya, your fucking song there, guys, eh? And then they sing uh, a song about, like, all the presents they want for Christmas, and yeah. it's pretty good, too. Just put it um, Again, there's some Bog and Quagmire leg action in oh, this, which is awesome. good. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's like, it's as if it's, it's as if they went on their back and their feet are, like, sticking up, and it, it just yeah. looks like big orange and purple pipe cleaners. <laughs> right. just hanging out um, but their song is about all the shit that they want for christmas and what's the number one thing they want for christmas peanut butter sandwiches peanut butter sandwiches and uh, uh and it, when the song's over batley's like that's it what the fuck was that <laughs> He's and like, like, as if it wasn't rehearsed or written down like what what kind of director are you if it's like the day before Christmas and you don't know what songs are in your own play, Batley, yeah. you should have a hand on this. Yeah, he's all like, all right, guys, we got to rehearse. Get your asses up on the stage. So they send him this <laughs> yeah. song about having a shit ton of stuff on their Christmas list. And he's like, is that all you fucking people could think about is, is presents, huh? <laughs> right, yeah. And I'm like, wait, didn't you guys rehearse this before? Like, don't you guys yeah. have, a, have a, a, a track list or what's going on? I mean, come on. Like, maybe it's musical improv. Maybe. I don't know <laughs> what, what this show is supposed to be. It's experimental theater. Yeah. Um. So Eureka comes up and treats him like shit, being like, you been treating Magellan like shit. You, you treat him bad. You kick him out of the play. What the hell's wrong with you? So... <clears throat> Batley decides that he's going to try and save Magellan by flying out into the woods and going and finding old Magelli. And yeah. uh, and he's like, I'll be back before you could say good luck, Batley. So Eureka <laughs> says that he's like, you don't say it till I'm out of here, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Eureka? God damn it. Jeez. <laughs> ah, jeez. So, uh, so the fucking best part of this movie is uh Batley flying away. It's like, it's like the, <laughs> the green the screen Batley puppet. Yeah. On a green screen held up by strings. It's like flying out of the castle. It's very reminiscent of uh hooked on a feeling by David Hasselhoff. Oh dude. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> I wish there was a whole, uh, Batley music video <laughs> of, of hooked on a feeling <laughs> with him flying away. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Put some more Batley on there. there. Dude, he is the fucking best part of that show. Hands down. Yeah. He's a, he has definitely influenced us. Oh, like, yeah. like if you look at all of our characters, they're all Batley. I used to have, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's long gone, but I used to have a Batley, like. The figure. McDonald's, like, plastic I think it was a puppet thing. or something. Or like yeah, I had that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was from McDonald's or whatever. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably they're Burger King or something, right? So, yeah. Um, so it didn't take very long for Batley to find Magellan. So he crash well, it's only a 30 minute show. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He crash lands into the leaves <clears throat> and he's uh, and he's like, oh, hey, Magellan, old pal, uh, let's get your ass out of here. And he looks around <laughs> and he's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know where we are. I'm fucking lost, too. No, I'm thinking, why doesn't Batley just fly back up into the air and look around until he finds the castle and say, that away, right? Because he's not good at flying. I think it's, I think I think it's insecurity keeping him down. Yeah, it could you be. You know? Um, so, I don't know. And they're where. afraid of monsters, and they think something like evil is out in the woods the oh, watcher in the go, woods ghosts is gonna and get goblins him. ghosts and goblins uh yeah so there's there's some lights it, it, yeah it, it's and like, it's uh like, it's a like an sleeping alien. In... <laughs> so they they get all scared but what does it end up being it was just two flashlights uh held together from with the some... gypsy taxi of the <laughs> illegal immigrant yeah. guy <laughs> And uh, so it's it's everybody. It's it's Eureka, the mice, uh, Bog and Quagmire. Everybody's there to the rescue. And the only people that aren't there are the singing fish because they're attached to the castle. Yeah, they got to stay. Uh, 
wet. Yeah. <laughs> so they, Stay wet, kids. Oh, so at the same time, Magellan found a tree, right? It, Magellan's like, this ain't, yeah. this, this isn't a tree. This is a regular tree. It's not, you know, one of them fancy trees. <laughs> you know, one of, oh, uh, I see. Down at the Christmas trees. You're farms. too good for this tree. <laughs> not a classy tree. So, uh, uh yeah, Eureka's like, hey, Magellan, look at this great tree you found. He's like, no, this is just a, it's not a Christmas tree. It's just a regular tree. And then Batley's like, you got to put decorations on it, you big fat dummy. <laughs> well, he doesn't say that, but he <laughs> might Eureka as well. Says. He's thinking it. He's thinking it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Eureka uses her wand and she decks out the tree with uh, decorations. And they decide, yep. hey, why not hold the Christmas pageant right there out in the woods with no audience? They're going to sing their big hit number. Yeah. And before you know and it. And Batley, Batley uh, makes Magellan. He he uh, lets Magellan uh, be back in the play. He says, Magellan, you're, you're hired. I, I was an asshole of you. <laughs> And uh, now you're the star of the play. And Magellan's all happy and he uh, he's back in action, baby. Yeah. So uh, uh, Webster goes down the top of the tree as the star and they sing the big number, which is actually a pretty damn good song. Not going to lie. It's a good part. Yeah, all the music in this was pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Um, and uh, it starts snowing, so they got a winter wonderland. Yeah, even though half of the... Characters are naked, not yes. where, or at least mostly naked. I so they're hope, gonna freeze to death out there. I just hope that they can all find their way back out to the back to the castle. Right? The yeah. They don't. This they, might have been the the series finale where they're yeah. all freeze to death. It just becomes the revenant, and then oh, yeah. they it, all it's, have like, to uh, it's like the break end of their shining. bones and crawl back. Yeah. You know? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. What if they stumble upon Jack Torrance? Mm. Yikes. <laughs> So, uh, uh, and couldn't, couldn't the, um, the big Nordic guy, couldn't he help out or is he just, uh, I, like, know, couldn't he just pick them up and be like, here you go. I'm afraid he'd probably like, cause I, Crush if I recall, him. yeah, he'd probably step on him because if I recall the big Nordic dude is walking and reading a book before he goes and like winds up the castle, if I recall. Oh. So he's probably walking and not having any clue as to what he's stepping on. I mean, he could be stepping on right. bunnies or deer or whatever the hell's down <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, you know? countless endangered species and oh, talking yeah. animals. Knocking down the trees for all you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if if they all turned into pancakes because they're like, <laughs> walking around out in the snow. Well, let's making, hope not. Making uh, snow angels. Oh man, you know what? I just thought, you know, if I don't know if you have it, I might have it on tape somewhere, but not not in Los Angeles, unfortunately. We need to do the Wienerville Hanukkah special. Oh man, dude. I oh dude, I remember actually back in the day, I remember I'm not even shitting you. I remember it coming on TV and I was like, fuck, I meant to record this. I don't have a tape or whatever. Yeah, I, I can't yeah. record this. And uh, I, oh shit! If anybody out there has the Wienerville Hanukkah special recorded off TV, hopefully with commercials, please let us know. We'd love to see it. That'd yes, be great. Please, oh, please, please. I haven't seen that since it like first came out. Right, that was awesome. Wienerville, yeah, it was man. great. Um, not enough Hanukkah specials. I mean, yeah, I mean, think about Nickelodeon back there's then. There's the Rugrats one and, and then the Wienerville it. one. That's, that's about it. really it. I don't think that there's any other Hanukkah specials out there for Nickelodeon nah. stuff. Or for anything, really. Yeah, you're right. There's not enough Hanukkah specials. There is Hanukkah Harry on Saturday Night Live. Yep. He's the only oh, other he, thing I can think of. Hebrew Hammer, that was fucking good. Yeah, but was that a Hanukkah movie or just a jewish superhero movie uh, maybe it was a hanukkah was a really jewish i don't know superhero movie yeah a good movie though yeah, yeah better really than good. knee high pi that's for sure oh knee high pi <laughs> oh man <laughs> or porn and chicken oh jesus Yikes. oh man dude those all came out around like uh what 2000 like mid yeah 2003 or something like yeah. that shit man i remember that was all when like adult swim First came out and it was, you know, right, right yeah. that time. Wow, I forgot all about that. 
No more Comedy Central made for TV movies. <laughs> Knee high PI sunk the ship. So uh so that is the Eureka's Castle Christmas special. Urethra's Castle. <laughs> Eureka's asshole. Not to be <laughs> Urethra's asshole Christmas <laughs> special. Gross. Don't uh don't look for that one on VHS. No. Different movie altogether. <laughs> so out of uh <laughs> Oh, uh a uh, quick fact, yeah. trivia fact. So even though Kevbot's not here, I'm sure he would be able to tell you an even better fact. But uh, Eureka's Castle was either co-created by or at least produced by R.L. Stein. No. Yes. Come on. Yes. I, I remember no reading it in a Goosebumps book or Fear Street book. Oh no! Uh, shit. Like in about the author and R.L. Stein. Is definitely involved with Eureka's Castle. Oh no shit. Yes. That's Fun crazy. Fact. I had no idea. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's great. Unbelievable. Yeah. Cool. Unbelievable. So uh let's see. If you could if you could rate this Christmas special of Eureka's Castle out of ten uh Muppet Feet. Out of ten Muppet <laughs> Feet, Batley legs. <laughs> Uh, All right, Batley do? legs. I would give it ten out of ten Batley legs. Ah, I'm also giving it ten out of ten Batley legs. Great. <laughs> it's five yeah, pair it's of Batley the... legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's nothing wrong with this movie. It's so short. It's, I want it to be longer. Honestly, that's yeah. the only thing that could make it better. If if there was more, uh, I remember loving the Halloween special too. Oh yeah. Uh, if anybody has that, please let us know too. That and uh, we yeah. know like a special. That'd be great. Love to see that. Um, yeah, this, uh, this show is, it's so good. I, I was a big, I mean, we were little kid. This was yeah. 1991. Yeah. So we were like, I was five, five years old yeah. or something, or we we're young and, uh, it holds up. Oh, for absolutely. A show like, uh, aimed at people in the single digit age range. Yeah. This holds up adults alike will love it. I think maybe it's just the nostalgia, but all the jokes hit. Yeah. It's Speaking and it of, doesn't treat kids like dummies. Like you know? Yeah. Uh speaking of adults, uh at the end of the of the special there's uh, obviously there's oh we should talk about some of the commercials oh the commercials there yeah, was a commercial yeah. for sears siding on this and i was like why the hell is there this like two minute long commercial for sears selling home uh, you know vinyl siding and you were like well it's probably because you know probably adults are watching this with their kids too and they need right vinyl siding for their houses but all the other <laughs> they were like all the like like classic n- early 90s nickelodeon commercials like there was the one for those Stupid corn f- pops. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the corn. Well, the pops kids commercial. got the corn pops stuck in the. Uh, they're in the, the, the vending, vending machine. machine in high school, and there's like the the Jaws theme in the background. Yeah. And he goes, I gotta have my pops. And the, and the, the, the bully behind, behind him. him's like, you need some help. Yeah, he's like, what's your malfunction? You know. <laughs> and uh, you got that? You had a commercial for Lassie. Because, of course, like, I think Lassie and... Um, He's on Nick at Night or, Nick- like, early on in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember waking up super early and all that was on was Lassie and Zorro. Oh, Flipper Maybe was on Flipper. there, too. Yeah. Flipper, yeah. Um, uh, there was a... There was a commercial for um, that stupid little thing that... It's, like, a thing that, like, you, you, you hook up a, a, a string to, like, a doorknob and you hold it on the other oh, end like, and this is goofy a little like like uh submarine on plastic this thing. ball it, yeah. with like a with little like hooks on it and it would like pick up these stupid balls you'd put your gi joes in <laughs> yeah i it's like a zip line for gi joes i don't i it, it's 29.99 no cod's <laughs> get your credit card ready <laughs> uh and it looks not fun at all no. i don't know what the appeal of this thing was no it doesn't look fun whatsoever <laughs> no um there was a really at the very end it was a really cool bumper for uh nickelodeon is like an early 90s cgi of like a snow globe that 
Right. That it was like a it was like a cool like like a house or like a gingerbread house, and it like zoomed out to being like a snowman in a snow globe with like a big orange ribbon that said Nickelodeon. It was like a Happy Holidays kind of a thing. It was really cool. Very expensive. I bet I bet it was in its time. You know. Oh yeah, for um, sure. But yeah, so that is the Eureka's Castle, yeah, the Eureka's Castle Christmas special. Uh, for those of you guys who remember watching this show as a kid and will want to rewatch it again, starting of December 8th, 2018, the VHS Bandits Christmas mixtape will be available for free online for your holiday viewing pleasure uh, by a link on our bio. It also... Our own movie, the bestest Christmas ever. We're gonna put a link for that there too, so you can get yeah. uh, like uh, about nine hours worth or, or more than nine hours worth of holiday entertainment via us, the VHS Bandits, this holiday season. Oh yeah. yeah! So, uh, so there you go, everybody out there. Hope everybody has a great uh, holiday season. Uh, be careful with that eggnog, and uh, we'll see you back. Uh, oh, so T Man is yeah. T Man is coming back to the East. I'm coming Coast. home for the holidays. Yeah, we can't wait. I'm <coughs> hoping that the three of us bandits can get together, have some eggnog and some uh, some uh, some of those like like shortbread cookies that uh, that come in a tin. This time of the year, <laughs> or the or the big Danish tin cookies. of popcorn that's split into three. So you have three different things of popcorn. Uh, the three different stale popcorn <laughs> flavors <laughs> with the horse and buggies on the front. We'll get some fruit cake. It'd be great. I was always like, side note, when I, whenever that popcorn would come around, I was like, this popcorn tastes different than regular popcorn. I wonder what they do to it. And then I worked at a movie theater. <laughs> and if you never worked at a movie theater, if you go on a weekday, what they do is they pop all their popcorn for the week in one day on like Monday. And then they store it. We stored it in yellow garbage bags behind, <laughs> behind the counter. And by the time that it, we put it out during the week. And uh, so that, that tin can popcorn... It's just stale popcorn. That's why it tastes like that. <laughs> That's your Take twenty dollars small who popcorn it. at Regal Cinemas. Yeah. It's fucking. Uh, yeah. So it's just old. stale popcorn. That it's not a special brew. Uh, I would recommend going for the caramel or any of the <laughs> any special of the, brew? the cold brew cold brew popcorn. Yeah, it's not a cold brew <laughs> slow drip popcorn. <laughs> It's just it's just stale. It's just stale and old. That's why yeah. it tastes like that. Ugh. So don't be fooled. Go for the caramel one. Yeah, that's the only good one because it's been like yeah, because it's not. It doesn't taste fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I can't uh, wait to have you back. In Me town. neither, dude. And uh, so the three of us will get together. Hopefully, we'll do another Christmas special while you're here. And, it's gonna be uh, a very Worcester Christmas. A Worcester Christmas. They go get a tree down at the Worcester Christmas trees farm here. Yeah. Real low cheap, eh? <laughs> <Hey. laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Well, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody, and uh, from all of us here at the VHS Bandits, uh, have a great one. And uh, until next time, be kind and rewind. Uh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, rock, 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 rock. Oh, what fun it is to ride. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, you'll really wear it's at. Merry Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> 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 and his back.